good morning. It is day three and we are hitting the roads now. We got a campsite near the road, roads that we've been looking for, uh, our species, so we had to drive 20, 30 minutes, so we're really happy about that. So we're going to hit it hard. Uh, today is going to be actually a, a really good day for weather-wise, besides temps, it is supposed to get in the 90s today, so that time we might go down to the coast and go hiking and stuff like that where it would be cooler. Um, even though it's going to be out of the range of our target species, but that's okay. We get other species in mind as well. But it looks going to good, be good uh, with cloud coverage today. It's supposed to be partly cloudy for most of the day, and then late afternoon, like especially dusk hours, it's going to be overcast, which is really important. Um, and then, uh, so after our uh, hike during midday in the coast, we're going to come back here when it's overcast and for dusk hours. And then after that, we might go a little bit north to see if we can get a copperhead. Uh, first night, we saw a deal of copperhead, and that didn't sit well with us. So we might just go back just for getting copperhead and maybe walk a creek for a little bit. So anyway, I'll see you when we find something. All right, if I can. First snake that we uh, road cruise is a ringneck. Southern ringneck. Hey, new county for us. Yeah. Yeah. Just like orangey. He's yeah, very, very orangey instead of some of the yellow. He's not as really as dark as some of the most of North Florida's southern ringnecks. This one has a very gunmetal gray to him. Anyway, Looks we're gonna let him go and then continue on. Looks healthy. <coughs> well, it's been a slow morning, but finally the corn snake. Second corn for the county. Small as one. Small and dark. That's a dark coin. Dang, look how dark this guy is. Ugh. Ow! He doesn't, he doesn't like you. No, he did not. You're pretty, dude. I'll give you that. Check this out, guys. That's really dark. All right, let's go ahead and let him go. So, uh, let me explain something real quick. So, we told you we were going to be in the coast, but the clouds came but it was going off and on it was miserable we didn't really see anything besides the last thing you saw was corn snake we actually uh did saw a racer got away we didn't really bother trying to find it and then we got saw a glass lizard that got away we thought it was a stick at first and before we know it it start moving but finally, it's 4.30 p.m. It's been like four hours since the last time, we, last thing we saw. And this is what we got. First rough green. First rough green of the trip. This, old, this old guy is covered in sand, but this guy is trekking. <laughs> you really make my day, dude. You're freaking cool. And I'm a big fan of rough greens that has this... Uh, this highlight yellow of the chin and the ventral patterning too so all right well it's going to get you off the road dude all right all right well it's time for biggies that's a good one very bright orange. Is that a clean one? And it's pretty clean. That's a really clean one. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. Hey. They get off the road on their own. Alright. Keep on looking. Ah. <sighs> yep. You're pretty. Nice one. That's that's a pretty one too. Um, he's not really in danger, so. Alright, let's go. How rude of you, Daniel, to make this cotton eat all your dust. I do apologize. He was so little. 
Oh, he's a little baby. He's a little guy. I will have to say, Florida Panhandle. He doesn't even have a yellow tip tail. I will have to say, Florida Panhandle has really pretty cotton mouths. Okay, you're gonna. There you go. There you go. There you go. Come on, let's get off the road. No, no. Okay, you're gonna pull that maneuver. All right, bye. Yeah, well, I know we saw one at the... Uh, excuse me. Excuse me. We're trying to look for your, uh... Cousin. Your cousins. Quite beautiful, though. Oh, yeah. Really good pattern. Wanna get a stick? Yeah, we'll go. Anyway. Daniel's gonna stick, and we're gonna help move this guy out of the road. Hey, little guy. Right. Yeah, we're just looking for your cousin, dude. Here we go. All right, we're gonna keep on looking. Oh. Whoa, 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 where are you going? Hey! Where are you going? Hey! It's a baby. Oh, you getting feisty, huh? You getting that feisty? Is, oh, man, that is a pretty copper. It's been a while since we've seen a copperhead yeah, in Florida. It's been, it's been a while. The, and of that, course, they're nippy. Yeah. They're nothing like cottonmouths. Cottonmouths are puppy dog compared to these guys. Oops. Right kind of have to tire him out because we're definitely going to get some pictures with this guy. Oh, man. Three venomous in this vlog. So copperheads, these guys are your bottomland force specialists. You want to talk about a predator that solely relies on camouflage? Copperheads, it's what they do. They're completely lifeless during the day, submerge themselves in leaf litter, and then right about dusk hours and even at night, that's when they're on the move. But these guys, they'll consume almost anything. Insects, lizards, Frogs, rodents of the sort. Well, I'd say picture time. Yep. Ooh, look at this one. That's even a prettier one. Oh, that is your classic southern variant. Oh, yes. Hold on. Uh, now, this is the second one. So these are these are. Some adolescent ones. There, there, there's some big ones around here. Man, uh, we've actually seen an almost, what, what would you say, two and a half? About a good yeah, two, two, two and a half, almost three, maybe. Maybe, almost three. All right, well, we're going to help this guy cross the road. All right. Hold on, I'm going to snapshot the guy. Of course you are. That right there, that's your, that's your classic variant. You know, it'd be kind of cool to get them on the leaves. Yeah. 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 No, 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 no. <laughs> Seriously? All right, let's go. I don't need to take a picture of every single one. I just like, I, I like that variant. Really, we're not gonna leave this road. Uh, this is freaking awesome. Third copper in how many minutes? Uh, uh less than five. Oh, cool. Man, I'll see if we can take the light away. Oh, I'm not gonna grab him. Oh, he he tried to snip at you when you're far away. This is typical copperhead behavior. This is very typical copperhead. They're they're much snappier than cottons. And then there's a reason too because you have to understand copperheads actually have 
a whole lot more predators than cottonmouths. Ooh, come on, dude. Just, just coil for just, just a couple pictures, dude. Ah. I like your pattern. There we go. Okay, I like that. I like that. No, 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 no. No, dude, just, just coil for just two pictures. Okay, I'm going to start recording. We got another copper. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Be careful. <laughs> this one is... This one is snippy. That's a dark. I don't know why you brought your tongue out. No, no, that's that's part of why. Yeah. Well, he was originally going. That was a hot gun you just pointed at me. What the heck is wrong with you? Come on, dude. Let's get off the road. No, no. Uh -huh. What have you guys been eating out here to make you all jittery? Let's go. All right. See, okay, does. There must be a really good population of cicadas out here. All right. <clears throat> All right. Well, we're setting up camp. Well, we already set camp. This was day three. Tomorrow will be day four. Depending on how tomorrow is, I might add it to today or I might add it or it'd be a whole entire vlog itself. But today, tomorrow's the last shot. It's going to be a full day from done to dusk and we will leave when nightfall hits but i have a good feeling tomorrow the weather looks the weather tomorrow looks like the best of the last few days so um wish us luck and i'll see you tomorrow early in the morning